Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how to design this mega menu completely from scratch with no steps skipped. So let's get into it. Now the first thing to bear in mind is this, for you to be able to achieve this same result, you'll be needing Elementor Pro plugin as well as ultimate add-ons for Elementor. The links to everything mentioned within this video you can find linked in the description box down below. So let's jump straight into our dashboard to get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to install the plugins that we're going to be needing for creating the mega menu. So like I said, we're going to be needing Elementor Pro plugin as well as ultimate add-ons for Elementor. And once you've made the purchase and you've downloaded the zip file, File, you simply need to come down to plugins to select add new now once this page comes up we simply need to come down to upload plugin so once i select that we can see right here it says if you have a plugin in a zip format you can install or update it by uploading it here so we simply need to click on choose file so once we've selected that from our windows we would see a new option in here to install now so after installing both plugins we want to move on to creating our mega menu now for us to be able to create our mega menu we simply need to come down to templates and in here we can see we have save template and we have our team builder so we're going to be using the elemental team builder so for us to be able to get started we simply need to come down to add new so i'm just going to open this up in a new tab and in here we are going to be presented with this pop-up now for our template type i'm going to select this and in here we want to select our header so for our title name we can title this whatever i want to so i'm just going to title this mega menu header so once we've titled this whatever i want to we can simply click on create template now in here we can see we are presented with quite a number of blocks, header blocks to work with. Now since we're going to be creating everything from scratch, depending on how well you must have created yours already, you can just use that to create a mega menu. So in this case, we're going to be creating everything from scratch. So I'm just going to cancel this. Now in here we can simply click on add new section. So I'm just going to click on this. And for our structure type, I'm going to select three columns. Now in here I want to select this and we want to change our content width to full width. So I'm just going to select full width. So for our first column, I'm going to change the content width to 15%. So coming down here, I'm going to put in 15%. And for our last column, which is the third column, I'm going to select edit column. And in here, I want to put in 15% as well. Now in here is where we're going to be putting our mega menu. And in here, we're going to put in our website's logo. So coming down to our widgets, I'm just going to drag the website's logo in here. And that should display right up. And in here, we can simply put in a cart button in here. So coming down to this, we can see our menu cards. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into this column. Now this is how it's going to be looking like. Definitely you want to make customizations to that to suit your taste. So we're going to be focusing solely on the mega menu. So that is what we're going to be talking about in this video. So coming down to our widgets, we can simply come down to search widgets. I want to search for navigation menu. So once you've got the ultimate add-ons for Elementor installed on your website, you should be able to see this option in here. So I'm just going to drag this into this middle column. And in here we can see we have our typical WordPress menu. Now for our menu type, we want to change this to custom so we can be able to create a mega menu from this. Now for our menu type, we can see we have our menu item 1 and menu item 2. Now this is our main menu. We displays whatever we want to here. So if we want to change this to mega menu, this will display right up now we can see we have our links here definitely you want to add links to several categories on your website now in here we can see we have our drop down width we're going to be talking about this separately after we must have created our mega menu now this is where the magic happens with our sub menu type now this is the part where we would have to create our section in order to condition it to appear here now coming down to our wordpress dashboard i'm just going to come down to template and I'm going to open this up in a new tab. So I'm just going to select add new and open this up in a new tab. Now coming down here, we're also going to be presented with this pop-up. Now for our template type, we want to select section. Now in here, you can title this whatever you want to. So I'm just going to title this mega menu. And we can simply click on create template. Now in here, we can see we have a couple of options to work with that are blocks and we can condition this to appear on our website. But since we're going to be creating everything from scratch, I'm just going to close this up. And in here, we want to click on add new section. So I'm just going to click on this. And for our structure type, we want to select four columns. Now in here, we want to change this to full width. Now I want to change the background type in here to white. So I'm just going to come down to style. And for our background type, we want to select classic. And for our color, we want to change this to white. So I'm just going to select white. And in here is where we have to put in all the elements we want to display on our mega menu. Now the first thing we want to put in here will be our title. Now coming down to our widgets, I'm just going to drag and drop our heading in here. 
Now this would vary depending on what you want to display on your mega menu. Since this is an e-commerce website, we want to work with product categories. So for the parent category, for the sake of this video, we're just going to title this basic. Now, obviously you want to put in the links to the parent category in here if this is an e-commerce website for you. Now, coming down to style, for us to be able to make customizations to this text in here, we're just going to come down to our text color and want to change this to hashtag ADA DAD. Now, coming down to our typography for our font family, we want to change this to poppins. And for our font size, we want to change this to 14 pixels. And for our font weight, we want to change this to 500. Now, once we're done with this, we want to duplicate this into three parts. So I'm just going to duplicate this into three parts. And we want to drag this into this column and also this into this column. Now in here, we can see we have basic, 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 but we want to change the text in here. So I'm just going to change this to intermediate and this to advanced. Now the next thing we want to do will be to add in the child categories in here. So coming down to our widget, I'm just going to search for icon list and want to drag this underneath this parent category. So in here, I want to delete this too and want to make customizations to this. Now in here, I'm just going to open this up and want to title this typography and want to delete this icon in here because we don't need it. So I'm just going to click on this to delete that. And in here, you want to put in the links to the child category. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to put in a hashtag in here. Now I want to duplicate this 10 times. So I'm just going to click on this. I want to duplicate this into 10 icon lists. So I'm just going to click on this. Now we can choose to change the text in here to whatever I want to display it as. So I'm just going to add in our text in here real quick. Now, once we're done with this, we want to make customizations to the text in here. Now coming down to our style, we want to change the space in between to 10. And for our text, we want to click on text. And for our text color, we want to change this to hashtag 646464. Now coming down to our typography, we want to change the font family to poppins. And for our font size, we want to change this to 12 pixels. And for our font weight, we want to change this to 400. Now once we're done with this, we want to duplicate this three times. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to click on this to select duplicate. Now, once we're done duplicating this, we can simply drag this into this column. And also in here, I want to drag this into this column as well. Now we can simply make customizations to the text in here. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Now the same applies here. So I'm just going to click on this and also change our text real quick. Now, once we're done with this, we want to add in a little bit of line height to our icon list in here. So I'm just going to select this and come down to style. And for our text, we want to select typography. And for our line height, we want to change this to 2.1. And the same applies here. So I'm just going to select this, come down to style. For our text, we want to select typography. And for our line height, we want to change this to 2.1. And the same applies here. Select this, come down to style. For our text, we want to select typography and for our line height, we want to change this to 2.1 as well. Okay. So now the last thing we want to add in here will be an image. So I'm just going to select this column and for our widgets, we want to drag and drop our image widget in here. Choose image to select our image and for our media library, I'm just going to select this image and click on insert media. Now this is how it's going to be looking like. Now we can see right here, we have everything a little bit. Now the next thing we want to do will be to add in paddings to the top, the left, the bottom, as well as the right columns. So I'm just going to select this section and want to come down to advanced. Now for our padding, we want to change this to 30 pixels all around. Now this is how it's going to be looking like at the moment. Now the next thing we want to do will be to add in a little bit of demarcations between these columns in here, just to make it a little bit stylish. Now for us to be able to do this, we simply need to click on edit column and we want to come down to style. We want to select border and for our border type, we want to select solid. 
Now for our width, we want to unlink all values in here and want to add in a little bit of border to our right column. So I'm just going to put in one in here and for our color, we want to change this to hashtag DE, DE, DE. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this hex code and we want to repeat this on these columns as well. So I'm going to select this column, come down to style and we want to select border. For our border type, we want to change this to solid and want to put in the color hex code we just copied in there and i'm going to unlink all values here and add in one to our border for our right column so the same applies here so i'm just going to come down to advanced and want to select border and for our border type we want to select solid so i'm going to put in our color hex code we just copied in here we want to unlink all values and want to add in one in here now if we select this, we can see how this looks. Now just before we move on to conditioning this to appear on our website, we can see in here we have this text pretty close to the lines. Now for us to be able to add in a little bit of space in here, we simply need to come down to our columns and want to come down to advanced. And for our padding, we want to unlink our values here and want to add in 10 pixels to the top. And for our left, we want to add in 30 pixels. Okay, so same applies here. So I'm just going to select this column, come down to advanced and want to unlink all values here and want to add in 10 pixels to the top and want to add in 30 pixels to the left. Okay, so in here, we want to click on this column for our image. We want to come down to advanced and want to add in zero all around for this particular column. Now we can see how this looks right now. Now the last thing we want to do will be to add in a border to the entire section in here. So I'm just going to click on edit section and want to come down to style and want to come down to border to select border and in here I want to select solid. So we want to add in one all round and for our color we want to change this to hashtag DE DE DE. Now, if we close this up, we can see how this mega menu looks like. Now, opening this up, we can simply click on publish. So I can simply click on preview. And this is how it's going to be looking like after we must have conditioned this to appear on our mega menu. Now, I'm just going to close this up and come back to our menu. So I'm going to click on publish and I'm going to click on save and close. Now this is the meta we want to condition on our website to appear as a mega menu. So I'm just going to refresh this. Now in here, we can simply click on our navigation menu and for our mega menu, we can see we have everything set right. And for our subsection, which we have to condition this mega menu to appear as, we can simply come down to our item type and we want to select sub menu and for our content type, we want to change this to saved section. Now in here, we want to select the mega menu, which we just created. So I'm just going to click on mega menu. And if we hover over this, we can see we have our mega menu appearing here, but this doesn't look all that great. So we want to come down to our mega menu. Since I said, we're going to make customizations to this. Now for our drop down width, we can choose to select custom and we can simply make adjustment to this and it's going to appear just as we make our width to appear as. Now in here, we can see this isn't looking all that great. So we want to come down to our drop down width. I want to select equal to section. Now this is going to be taking up the entire section nice from here down to this part. So if we hover over this, we can see how this appears as, and we can see this looks just great. Now, if we choose to select this as container, or we can choose to select this as column, it's going to be focused only on this entire column, but I want to change this to equal to section. And if we hover over this, we can see how this appears as. Now the same applies here. So if we come down here, we can simply change this text to whatever I want to. So I'm just going to tie to this mega menu too. And we can come down to our drop down width. I want to change this to equal to section. And if we hover over this, we can see how this appears as I want to come down to our sub menu. We can come down to our content type and we can change this to save section. Now we simply need to come down here and choose our mega menu, which we must have created as a save section on our website.
now if we hover over this we can see how this tool appears as now coming down to our layout we can simply make customizations to how this appears as so we can choose a vertical alignment we can choose expanded but this doesn't look all that great so i'm just going to select horizontal and for alignment we can choose to change this to center so this appears at the middle of our column and for this we can choose to change this to hover so if we hover over this this automatically appears and we can choose to select click so we have to click on this before this mega menu appears so i'm just going to change this to hover and we can simply change this um, sub menu icon to whatever i want to so if we want to change this to plus sign this changes automatically and we can also change this to classic so I'm just going to leave this as arrow and for our sub menu animation, we can see this just appears as soon as we hover over these menus. Now in here, we can choose to change this to slide up. So whenever we hover over this, we can see how this slides up into our menu. Now that looks a whole lot better. So once we're done with this, definitely you want to make customizations to how this text looks like in here for our style so we're not going to be talking about that in this video we just wanted to create a mega menu and condition this to appear on our website so i'm just going to click on update and we can see in here it says where do you want to display this template so i'm just going to click on add condition i want to select entire site so i'm just going to click on save and close so that's pretty much it and that's how we can be able to create and condition a mega menu to display on our website using Elementor and ultimate add-ons for Elementor. Now if you got value from this video be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I will see you in the next one.